Good dog or welcome in to Jacob Lee and today I'm going to show you how to use an SSD 1306 with a Node MCU ESP8266 module. Uh, now it works with really any Arduino compatible board um, as long as it has I squared C. Uh, we need the Adafruit SSD 1306 library and the Adafruit GFX library. Uh, now this is just a simplified version of the or sketch that comes with the Adafruit library. It's the SSD 1306, 12864, I2C sample one. Uh, the one might not be on there, but this one is just the sample. I just deleted all the stuff that you don't really need. All we're gonna do is display some text on there. Um, so to install the libraries, what you're gonna do is come over to tools, manage libraries, and then, with this, and then when this window comes up, you're going to search SSD 1306, and you're going to install the Adafruit SSD 1306. Now, this should prompt you, prompt you to install all the libraries that it is dependent on, which includes the Adafruit GFX. However, just to make sure, search GFX next, and Adafruit GFX library should come up, and it should stay, say installed. If it does not say installed, just go ahead and click install right here. So next, we're going to make sure we have the right board selected. Uh, so come down here to Boards Manager. Hey, it's me, ya boy. I was editing the video and I realized I didn't include an instruction on how to install the Node MCU ESP8266 board if you don't have it already. So what you're going to want to do if this board does not show up right here, this is what you're going to do to get this to pop up. You're going to go to File preferences and you're going to copy and paste this link into the additional boards manager URL field. I'll have this link down in the description so just copy it there, paste it, hit OK and then you're going to go to tools, boards manager and you're going to search ESP8266 and then this will come up ESP P8266 by ESP8266 community version, whatever it is, you're going to hit install, close that, and then once that is done, this option should pop up, ESP8266 boards, whatever the version is, and then you're going to select this one on top. So that is how you install the board if you have not done it already. Back to the video. Uh, if you're using an ESP8266 or Node MCU board, uh, just select this generic ESP8266 module. Now, I know some people use these Node MCU boards down here, but these are for ESP12 chips. Uh, I'm using the 8266, so just select generic ESP8266. Uh, right here, uh, this is straight out of the library, like I said, but I'm going to just go over it. Uh, it defines the screen width and the height, uh, 128 pixels by 64 pixels. Uh, OLED reset, I don't know what that does, honestly. I think some boards or screens have uh, a reset pin on here, but the ones I've always used just have four pins, a power, ground, SDA, and SCL. So I've never used the reset pin. I just said it is a pin that I'm not using on the board, so 14. Um, so right here, it defines uh, the display object. And then down here in the setup, serial begins, sets your baud rate. I just set this right here. Uh, I put this in myself just so I know that the program did start properly. It says serial connected. We know we're good to go. Uh, now this part is what tripped me up on the Node MCU. Uh, you can configure different pins as SDA and SCL. So on other Arduino compatible boards, I believe those have a set SDA and SCL pin, and I do not believe they're configurable because I did not need this line for my Arduino Leonardo, but for the Node MCU or the ESP8266, we need to define the pins that we're going to use for SDA and SCL. So right here, uh, according to uh, this pinout, uh, GPIO5 is SCL, GPIO4 is SDA, so you define SDA first, 
and that's going to be GPIO4 or D2, and uh, SCL as GPIO5 or D1, uh, just so it matches this pinout. I did swap SCL to GPIO0, and it worked. You just had to change the pin. Um, so just make sure it's hooked up to the proper pins that you define um, right here in this line. So I defined it GPIO 4 and 5 for SDA and SCL respectively. Right here, it just tries to connect with the, the screen. Now by default, this has X3D put in there. If you're using the 128 by 64, uh, you're gonna probably need to change that to 0X3C. So now we go into our loop. We just clear the display to make sure nothing's showing on the screen that we don't want. Uh, set text size two. That just makes it uh, a little bigger. Um, I'll roll in a picture right here so you can see how big that is. Right here we define the color, but I had a blue and yellow one as well, and I just left it as white, and it just displayed the color that the pixels were by default, because um, the pixels are monochromatic. So I don't really know why you have to define that color there, um, but I tried taking it out one time and it didn't work. So just throw that in. Um, set cursor, that tells uh, the program where to start writing on the screen. Zero, zero is top left. Scroll, that's just the text I have there. Let's change that to subscribe. And then we need to display dot display, show initial text and then delay 1000 milliseconds. So that'll delay one second before it loops again. One thing to keep in mind is uh, this set cursor is in XY. So increase the Y number to move down the screen and increase the X number to move to the right of the screen. Uh, so Y is kind of inverted, but uh, it kind of makes sense if you think of the direction that you read. So if we want to add another line, we can say so what's that what that is going to do is it clears the display sets the first text size to a uh, scale of two sets the color to white sets cursor in the top left prints uh, subscribe and then we display that, it waits a second, then it sets the text size to one, moves the cursor down 15 pixels, and then prints to Jacob Lee. We display that, wait one second, and then it'll clear the display and write subscribe again. So what it'll be, subscribe stays on the screen because when it clears the display, it immediately writes it back. Uh, and then every one second, it should blink to Jacob Lee. So let's go ahead and write that. And there we have it. It's kind of hard to see that smaller text right there. Uh, but it says subscribe and it blinks to Jacob Lee every one second. So that is how you use the SSD 1306 with the Node MCU ESP8266 module. Um, if you're using a different Arduino board, uh, like the Uno or the Leonardo, I don't believe you have to include this line here. You just use whatever the default SDA and SCL pins on the Arduino, you know, like for this one, the Pro Micro. Um, SDA is pin two, SCL is pin three, and so those are just automatically defined, if I remember correctly. Um, if they're not, you know how to define those pins right here, four, five, right here it would be two, three. And so um, that's how you do it. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, I wanted to do a and so I hope this was helpful. I wanted to do a tutorial that had a little less bloat than kind of a lot of the tutorials that I've seen. Um, I just want to do something short and sweet just to get you started. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment down below and I will do my best to help you out. Um, note that this is for the I squared C model, not the SPI model. Um, so the SPI is going to be a little bit different. 
Um, but I like using the I squared C because I don't need anything too high speed for an application like this. Uh, and it just uses fewer wires. I just like I squared C. Uh, um, mostly just because it's fewer wires. So anyway, I hope that was helpful. I wanted to do uh, a short and sweet tutorial that had a little less bloat than some of the others I've seen and provide a script that kind of got you kick-started and didn't have a bunch of the extra stuff that the examples do. Like I said before, I will have a link to this script uh, down in the description. It'll be from a GitHub. You can just copy and paste it into one of your sketches. And as long as, you, as, long as you've installed the correct libraries, and you are using the correct board in the boards manager right here. Um, as long as you have all that squared away, it should work right out of the box. So that's it for me. Uh, I hope this was helpful. Be sure to be kind to someone today, and I will see you next time. Peace.